Audiences are cheering Taika Waititi's Jojo Rabbit. It's pointless and stupid. Exactly. Wait, no. It's satirical brilliance. If there's one thing that could stop our known for, it's our sense of humor. Five stars. That's impossible. Believe it, brother. There's no other film quite like it. God help me. It's a dazzling achievement. It's time to burn some books! Jojo Rabbit. I meant we'd need dogs, not actual German shepherds. Now playing in select theaters. What's going on, Flix Talkers? We are back, and we're back with an amazing one. Um, we yeah. just got out of seeing Jojo Rabbit, the Taika Waititi film. Um, he directed it. Did he write it by any chance? Do you know? Uh, I don't, I'm, on I'm looking on it, here. It, it says it was a novel written. Yeah, I did see that. Novel. Yeah, but I know he like he produced it, and mm -hmm. directed it. Yeah. yeah so if you, yeah, so if you guys don't recognize that name, uh, he was the director of Thor Ragnarok. And I believe he also played the character of that rock creature from uh, Korg. Korg. Yeah, Korg. he played Korg, the, the one with the, the the big rock guy, and he mm -hmm. talked like, I know, yeah, Meek, Meek, Meek's over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So, so we get him, um, you know, pretty much starring in, uh, not really the main star of this film, but he does play Adolf Hitler. Yes. And uh, Jeremy has a funny tidbit, actually, about yeah, his it's, heritage. Or it's his... crazy. I was just reading the, uh, the trailer. He's, he's from New Zealand, but... Um... Well, he's half Jewish, is what it is. <laughs> he's, he's half Jewish, uh, Maori slash Jewish. And they asked him, why, why did you want to play Adolf Hitler? Mm -hmm. And his response is, quote, uh, answer simple. What better fuck you to the guy? It's perfect, yeah. you know. Yeah, and and, and 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 if it, it, it worked out perfectly, honestly, yeah. I didn't know what to think about when I think we we all saw this trailer and people were like laughing, but they also were like, ah, yeah, yeah, like, like, like what are like, oh, am I supposed, am to, I supposed laugh to laugh at this? At this? Like, yeah. I know it's been a long time since, um, <laughs> you know, we've gotten a lot of satirical movies. Back, I remember back like. Um, uh, the South Park. I was telling you about the whole South Park movie. Yeah, you know yeah. where they made fun of like. Um, remember the? Uh, do you remember that movie at all? The South Park movie. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, they had the yeah. devil and they had a uh, not. Um, um, it was oh, fuck. I'm <laughs> not, not Bin Laden. It was the Saddam other Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Yes, yes. And that was like fucking pushing the boundaries oh, back yeah, then. Yeah. That was so edgy to do. Yes. Um. There's a lot of satirical movies. I, I think I brought this up a while back. It was a Spike Lee movie called um, Bamboozled. Okay. Yeah, and and that one dealt a lot with uh, blackface, um, which was very satirical. They they kind of did it like making fun of it type yeah. of thing. Um, and uh, so it's it's very hard to laugh at subject material like this, guys. But Jojo Rabbit, in a nutshell, was um, a young boy. Uh, who, I believe he was ten years old, ten yeah, and a half ten, years ten, old. Yeah. Yeah, in a uh, Nazi Nazi occupied Germany, and I believe it was like at the end of the first yeah, World yeah, War. Yeah, go going towards the end of the Second World War, World War Two. Mm -hmm. We're at the end of World War Two, and um, you know we're dealing with um, you know um, Nazi Germany wanting to be on top of everything. Um, so they are brainwashing a lot of the youth and these yes. kids are young so i mean we started at you know you see it on the trailer guys it's almost like a nazi boot camp it, it is like for it little is. kids it, it is like you like you said perfectly it's it's basically they're brainwashed and then mm. this ideology it's like they have to look up to this person this this evil you know tyrant this this person that they're just that's who they were raised to like be like this is your hero. This is who you you know you need to represent. You yeah, know, there's like awful. generals and all these people telling them how to act. Um, you know, if, if they encounter a Jew or or what to do, and and just like that they're on top, they're number one. So completely brainwashing them. So we get you know our whole introduction to that. But you get a subplot which I don't know if this was in the trailer or not. But I I think it might have been in the, maybe the later trailers. But the huge part of this story is uh, the young boy Jojo uh his mom is harboring a young Jewish girl. Yes. Uh which actually you know happened a lot. Yeah. Happened a yeah. lot um when that was all going on. And um so you get a, a a side story with them and you know Jojo trying to understand the Jewish girl because what he's been taught was the complete opposite of what becomes of their relationship, their fr their friendship is, yeah. is what it is. And I thought it was excellent oh it was it was amazing it, it, it was beautiful I, it was uh yeah extremely powerful mm -hmm. powerful is a, is a good word i could think it was like i'm watching it and i'm just like there's parts i'm watching and i'm just like man it hits you mm -hmm. and you you know it hits you hard 
Yeah. But it was so well written and, and just acting and everything. It was yeah. really, really good. And I honestly thought the whole movie was going to be satirical. It's not. No, uh, no. A large chunk of it is. But then you get into some deeper stuff. I mean, the music starts yeah. changing. The yeah. tones start changing. The cinematography. The cinematography. Yeah, yeah especially towards the end when towards they the end. when the slow motion. Oh, yeah. God. It was like. It was like we were watching like a like a well done war movie. Oh yeah, it gets more like gray. You get this mm -hmm. more, you know, just gray and cold feeling, you know, like yeah. third third of the way in the movie and yeah, you're the just third like act. Man, it, you know, it's <laughs> it's powerful. It's yeah, hard he, hitting. He, he's a Taika is a great director. Oh, he's I mean, so good. not only with comedy, but this subject material was like he nailed it. I mean, to a point where you you like I like I said once again, it's hard to laugh at stuff like this. But then you yeah. kind of it, you you just kind of step, take a step back. You laugh at how silly and close minded these guys were. The uh, way yeah, they were thinking, yeah. and, and especially because like being brought up and how like especially young young kids, you know, they're such very young impressionable. Kids. Yeah, yeah, so. and they they're really really impressionable, and they just believe everything that's told to them, yeah. and that's how they're supposed to act, and that's what they're supposed to believe. And mm -hmm. when he meets uh, the young girl, and he's you know at, he's just like. What? No, no. Uh, you know, not supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta tell. Uh, you know, and yeah, and it just goes from there. And it was just, it was amazing. So yeah, and we, and we were talking about so the young man in the movie, um, that plays JoJo. What's his name? Roman Griffin Davis. Davis. Yeah. Yeah. So I hadn't seen him from anything. I looked him up. I believe this is his first movie. Yeah. Um, and I thought he did a great. He had a lot of screen time. He did. He so did. um, just for this being his first movie, for Taika to take a chance on a kid like this, yeah. the kid nailed it. The oh, kid nailed absolutely it. He, nailed he, he it. He did so good. He. he, the, he did the, awesome. the, there was parts where he was confused. There was parts yeah. where he was. You know, Mad, fear, me, mad, mad, you know, and, and he, he he honestly reminded me of like a full grown man sometimes, like yeah. a little boy's body. Yeah. Like the yeah. way when he was talking to his mom and oh, stuff. Yeah. So yeah. he played the part really, really well. And he I, I really got to applaud him for that. Yes. And also the young Jewish girl um was played by uh, Tom, what is that? Thomas and McKenzie. Thomas and McKenzie. Thomas and McKenzie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, what was her name in the movie? I didn't. Elsa. 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 Um, so I remember her, seeing her from uh, Leave No Trace last year with uh, Ben Foster, which was an excellent movie. I believe that was an independent one as well. Okay. But we, yeah, we caught that at a little independent theater. I think that might be like on streaming too, but that that was the only thing I'd seen her in. She did great in this yeah, movie as yeah, well. Yeah, she did really good. Yeah, she someone that it. someone that befriends uh, Jojo. And then we got a, a great slew of cameos uh, from Sam so Rockwell. Sam, Sam Rockwell is great and everything. Rebel Wilson. Uh, Rebel Wilson. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson had a huge um, part of it who played the mom of yeah, JoJo. Yeah. Uh, she did an excellent she job did as really, well. really, good. Alfie yeah. Allen yeah. from Game of Thrones. Alfie uh, Allen. And then e even the young um, the young boy. Uh, uh, the yeah, friend. yeah, his friend. <laughs> he stole the scenes that he was in. He, he, he was, was so funny, He was dude. so funny. Ar he, Archie Yates. Yeah, Archie yeah. Yates. He played, was it Yoki, Yoki or something? Uh, yeah, Yoki. Yeah, and... Yoki. <laughs> God. Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know. It's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. He was like, they, they tried to brainwash him, but he's just like, yeah. I don't know what we're he, doing is, you he know, He was right? just like so but, innocent and sweet. Yeah, he was so, so innocent yeah. and, and everything. But and, he he was almost like a cartoon character. With he the, was. With the circle glasses yeah, and stuff. And yeah. it, it, he just didn't want to be there. He, he just, didn't. He, he didn't, didn't want, he didn't want, want to he wanted fire. he wanted to play. He wanted to, yeah. you know, just be outside yeah. and play with, you know, his friend and or like that, and he didn't get the whole war thing. And yeah, and that, and that was a huge chunk of it. And, and Scarlett Johansson, the mother, kept saying that you guys should be playing and doing what ten year olds do, not Ex war. Exactly. And that and was a, like, that was a huge message you know, of the movie. Just because how how much um, her son was brainwashed, mm. and you know he had just it was stuck on this ideology, and Scarlett Johansson, the mom's like. No, you know, this isn't you. This isn't, you're 10 years old. You need mm -hmm. to, you know, climb trees. You need to fall out of them. You need to, you know, play. You know, you act your age. And yeah. he's just always talking about war. And this is his side. And he's, yeah. you know, and it was it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was excellent. And, and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, we can't forget um, Adolf, played by Ta uh, Taika Watiti. Yes. And uh, he plays... Uh, Jojo's, I guess, imaginary His friend. Imaginary friend. So yeah. if you guys don't, you know, aren't, aren't aware of that, he's not an actual character really in the movie. Yeah. Of course, he's talked about, but in this instance, he is Jojo's imaginary he's friend. Imaginary friend. Yeah, he doesn't so, exist. Yeah. In the not physically. Actually, yeah, not physically. Yeah. But it's all in Jojo's mind, and that's because that's the person he looks up to, and yeah. that's who he 
embodies as his imaginary friend mm-hmm. and he wants to impress and he wants to do everything and you know so that's his imaginary friend who he talks to his go-to and, guy yeah yeah so anytime like he's he is confused or has questions conflicted adolf always <laughs> pops up with like yeah. a funny yeah, and, yeah. And that, that's where all the satirical stuff comes from too especially yes. like with the camp and the side characters oh yeah rebel wilson did an amazing rebel job wilson was of being really like, really funny yeah it. just being outlandish uh, and, sam rockwell yeah yeah <laughs> So, yeah. so when, when it comes to a lot of the Nazi propaganda stuff, it's it's kind of like over the top, um, you know, just very snarky and, and clever, yeah. clever writing. And it, oh, and it, really, it, it so, was such good writing. You yeah. know, there, there was, it was great. just comedy elements, you know, like yeah. just the comedy undertones and stuff like that. You just like you're just like, oh, you crack up, you know, it's just like, yeah, yeah especially that that, that that whole like maybe first 20 minutes of the movie. There's a lot of satire thrown in there. And I, I was we were just busting up laughing yeah. in the theater the yeah. whole time. And, you yeah, know, it was, it was good. Yeah. And it was good because, like, how gullible, you know, and impressionable mm. the little kid is. And there's part where, you know, the, the Jewish girl's saying, you know, how 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 it is. And he's just, like, he believes what she's saying. And he's writing, you know, a book about it. And, yeah. You know, and it's all bullshit what she's saying. But he's just, like, so, like, oh, oh, so you can read minds? Or, you know, yeah. he's just going on. So what he's been told is that Jewish people can read minds. They have horns underneath their hair. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. And you know they they hang from the walls like bats Upside and like it, it's just it's just so funny and he and he, and he believed just eats every it up and he believes every it. bit of it and, yeah and it was so good yeah it, it was it was very good um the landscape itself looked very to that time period yeah for yeah. sure the costumes everything. yeah the whole everything w- was on point um the, even the Nazi propaganda posters that they were yeah. putting up. Yeah. Look very realistic. I think he did an excellent job oh, for this. Oh, he did amazing. Um, I hope this so gets good. shown in a lot of theaters because I'm sure it costs a lot of money to yeah. make this one, especially with the big names that it had. Oh yeah. Um, I I, I saw that it came out, and that's the one thing I was, I was I wanted to talk about was that it came out last month at like limited releases. Mm-hmm. But I, is it still limited? I don't know if it's still limited. Yeah, I don't know. Because I looked it up I'm... and I couldn't find any release date other than October 18th or something. Yeah, okay. But that's not everywhere because they're not showing it at every single theater. Yeah, so we caught yeah. it at AMC, which shows a lot of, um, I think they call them artisan films, okay, which is yeah. like pretty much independent. independent. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this anytime soon. Uh, if not, definitely watch for it on uh, like a streaming or something yeah this is the, one of the top films of the year oh for yeah sure. easily hands down one of the top films i saw this year uh mm. really really enjoyed it really yeah. well written well acted everything everybody yeah. who did you know worked on it directing writing mm. really hands down top notch really yeah. great movie and, and i think he could have he could have taken the easy way out uh taika and said you know what i'm just gonna make a completely satirical movie just make fun of that whole time period yeah yeah you know um the whole nazi germany thing but instead he threw the message in there he threw an actual threw story in there story it, it, the ending was beautiful oh. the whole you know what happens to some of these characters yeah the, everything about it like he went above and beyond yeah, to yeah. create a good movie yeah, exactly it was a good story a good story good movie yeah and like you said it, it could have just been just it's funny, it's like you comedy, know, you know, slapstick, you know, mm-hmm. comedy, and it, it wasn't that at all. And it was just like, it was like I said, you know, I, I know I've said this word several times, but it was powerful. And so it came to mind. It was very powerful and just really, really, uh, yeah. really great movie. Yeah, I think it's definitely gonna um, open some people's eyes up and minds up a little bit about. Uh, not laughing at the subject material, but even like maybe researching it to yeah. kind of see how far we've come. Oh, totally. As, as people, yeah. you yeah. know, especially towards the end of this uh, end of this movie, and it's uh, you know some of the, the kids start to wake up. I guess well, yeah, yeah. And and Paulie, and, and, and that's, wake that's up, what I was you know, thinking. And... Like <laughs> you know, when when the main the main kid first meets the the young Jewish girl, mm-hmm. um, and he's just like, no, no, you're the enemy, you're the enemy, you know, and just from where he's brainwashed, and then you know going like a 180 and real coming to the realization wow i was just fed bullshit you Lied know the whole, time. the whole my whole life and i i'm in the wrong and basically like wow you know and i've learned and, and you know what i did was wrong and what i supported was just complete bullshit and wrong yeah. and that's 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 what it was really good you know and, yeah 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I threw and through like this movie. I'm trying to think of some dislikes, if, if any. I mean, some of the some of the scenes. Um, it's always hard when you're going from comedy to action to like slower pace, and then it kind of goes yeah. up and down. So you have that, you know, mixed emotion. They threw a lot of different things at you in this movie. I, I didn't really have any gripes with it. Yeah, I, didn't I think really. it was like an hour forty five, yeah, which it wasn't, is fine. Wasn't that it wasn't long. It didn't feel long. Or well, yeah, it wasn't wasn't super long. Um, I, I always I, I was kind of trying to figure out. Scarlett Johansson's character a little bit because she was mm-hmm. kind of like she was the mom, but she was like a funny mom. Like, she, she was, was like you know, she was a funny mom. She was yeah. a cool mom, you know. <laughs> yeah. and she didn't want you know her son. She's like, I, I don't want him growing up like that, you yeah. know. And um, so she would play like she, pranks on him, and yeah, like yeah, there, there's a she scene wanted where to crack she's... crack his shell, crack yeah. his like because he tried to act hard and he wanted yeah. to be in war and he wanted to be basically a soldier. And mm-hmm. she's like. No, man, you're you're ten years old. You know, it's like yeah, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, also, a funny side character that just popped up. If you could pull him up, is was the guy that I uh, had told you from the um the office. That guy right there. This oh guy yeah, from yeah. The, the St- British Stephen office. Stephen Merchant. Yeah, Stephen Merchant. Yeah. We saw him recently in Good Boys. He yeah, had a small Boys, cameo. Yeah. I think he's an excellent um excellent actor. Yeah. yeah. And he had a, he had a nice funny funny part. Yeah, yeah. In he, this movie, he, he had um, a funny part. you know, with the group of guys, and I, I I'm glad that they threw him in there because yeah. every time I see him, it's always like for like one minute. In yeah. A, in a movie. Yeah. No, totally. Yeah. So you get a lot of <laughs> a lot of good side characters. Um, and I through and through enjoyed it. I, yeah. I, I think I might give this a, a solid five out of five. Uh, that's what I was going to give. Yeah. Five out of five, hands yeah. down. For, for uh, originality, really, really I, I haven't seen something like this in a, in a while, if anything. Yeah. Um, tackle this kind of subject material. Uh, I feel like as we get older and the generations, they're just, they're just going to forget about the history that happened. Yeah. You know, yeah. that happened... Um, 80 years ago 90 years ago something like that yeah yeah, eight, yeah. Eight years ago. so it's like you know um it, it, it's gonna be an eye-opener i think for people that want to research what actually happened especially in the beginning of the film they actually showed hitler uh videotape yeah or yeah they, they showed tapes, like actual uh, footage, like, footage video footage you of, know of, of like him world war ii and you know the whole uh, the parade. They, they, they almost made it like a like a pandemonium, like like when the Beatles hit, like fucking yeah, America yeah. or something it, it, that's like. That's exactly. That's yeah, exactly. people were go- like girls were going crazy it, for Hitler. Pe- people were going crazy, and that, that's and exactly. They, and they, like, when it like opened a, up, it pl- opened yeah. up with the Beatles. Yeah, they played a rock. They played a rock song, and, 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 and like, the little kids just like <laughs> run in and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and it was just like so. In that, man. so they were totally making it like uh like he was a rock star, yeah. you know, and and uh, it's wild because they they totally looked up to him like it was a rock star yeah no they did yeah. totally it's crazy yeah <laughs> so definitely go see this movie guys if yes. you guys can in a theater near you um if not wait for streaming and definitely check out jojo rabbit yes definitely check out jojo rabbit yeah. well worth it i i i'd see it again for sure yeah uh, this is one i'll be getting on 4k yeah definitely add know, it to the collection because it's, it's one of those you you, you probably want to watch it again or yeah. show it to friends yeah and uh you know, yeah, I think it's a good, good movie. Oh, so, a really great movie. Yeah, so that's mm-hmm. our review, Jojo Rabbit, guys. Check yes. it out. Please give this review a thumbs up if you guys did appreciate it. Leave some comments if you guys have seen the movie or if you guys plan to see the movie. Or if you didn't like it, let us know why you didn't like it in the comments below. Yes. All right, guys, till next time. Oh, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe, too. please. It always Thanks. helps out, guys. More reviews coming soon. All right, guys, till next time. We're gone. Bye. Peace.